Hey, my name is Keith and I've invented this instrument and today I'm going to show you how to connect it to a phone and how to play it using free apps. All right, so first of all, you have two controllers. This controller I call the traffic light and this controller I call the coffin. You're going to take your HDMI cables and plug those into the bottom of each controller. For most Android phones, you're going to need one more piece of hardware, which is called an OTG adapter. That allows you to go from a standard USB connector to your phone's input connector. If you have a headphone jack, that's great, because that means that you can either plug your headphones directly into your phone, or you can run a cable, like a little aux cable from your phone to a speaker, you know, a small speaker or an amp. If your phone does not have a headphone jack, you're probably going to want to get an adapter like this one that has an audio output, but also has a data input. Some of the adapters that have audio and another little jack, that other little jack is just for charging. So you need something that has the audio, but also has the like the little USB data sign that looks like this. All right, so once you are hooked up to your phone, uh, what you're gonna do is download this app. It's called Fluid Synth. It's free and it sounds good and it's nice and flexible and easy to use. And then you're going to turn your glide on using the little knob at the bottom. And you'll notice on the app down at the bottom it says input port not connected. So we're going to tap the word MIDI and you can see it pops up it says MIDI output ports, it says Group of Productions the glide. We're going to tap on that and now it says MIDI connection successful. First of all, here's how to hold the glide. Each controller is symmetrical, so you can hold either controller in either hand. I am right hand dominant, and so what I do is I actually hold the coffin in my right hand, and I hold the traffic light in my left hand. Um, I'm, since I play guitar, I think of the guitar, or I think of like the strumming hand as this hand. And the way you're gonna do this with the coffin, you're going to have, hold it like this, put your thumb, on that button right there, put your index finger on the button on the top. And the motion you're gonna make is like that. It's like knocking on a door or the puppet saying yes. <laughs> in your left hand, you're going to put your pinky in that little curve right there. And then what I do is I lay my fingers across the three buttons. I don't use my fingertips. I lay them across like that. You still have equal access and good access to all three buttons. And then my thumb, I just lay it up top. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you yet, um, just put your thumb over to the side here so that you're kind of just holding it like a pole or a baseball bat or something like that. Um, and then once you get comfortable with it, you can move your thumb up to the top where it'll do the button and it'll do the thumbstick up there. Okay, so now our glide is connected and we've got fluid sent up and we're going to play our first note. So I'm gonna hold down the top button, the first button on the traffic light, hold down both buttons on the coffin, then I'm gonna make just a hitting motion. And then any combination of notes over here will give you different notes to play. Any combination of buttons over here will give you different octaves. All right, so that's fun and all, but let's do some actual glide stuff. Um, I recommend two different sounds. Let's start with the ocarina. So what you're gonna do is you're going to tap the top piano on channel one, and you're gonna scroll way, 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 way down, past all the keyboard instruments, past the guitars, and then shakuhachi, whistle, and then finally ocarina. So we're gonna tap on that one. All right, and so now we get this sound. but there's no actual gliding or vibrato or anything like that. So we need to do a couple things to get that going. First of all, we need to turn glide on and volume on. So to turn glide on, you hold down the top button on the traffic light, and then you're gonna hit the function button. All right, now glide is on, and then you're gonna hold down the middle button, and then hit that function button, and that turns volume on. You can actually do both of those things at the same time, but tutorial. <laughs> 
All right, and then we have to do one more thing, and this is kind of annoying, but it's just the way that the, the synthesizer is set up. Um, you're gonna turn your coffin controller upside down. You're gonna hold your thumbstick to the right, and we're gonna click it four times. One, two, three, four. And so now we've got Glide ready to go. And also volume. And then one other sound that I like uh, is the saw wave. It's two spots down from that one. And it sounds like this. Like that. <laughs> okay, now moving on to chord mode. To change into chord mode, you're going to hold down the button behind the thumbstick, and then you're gonna hit that function button one time. All right, we're in chord mode. You can actually still play it with that saw wave sound. Gonna... Anyway, it's kind of fun, like, you know, Van Halen, 80s sort of sound. But I'm gonna go way back up to the piano. Um, and the way that you play this is that you hold down any of those combination of buttons over there. We're gonna hold down just the bottom button for now on the coffin and then play like that. And then whenever you lean backwards or forwards, that changes the range. If you lean left or right, that changes how many notes you play. So you get six notes, three notes, or one note. And the one note allows you to do that. allows you to do arpeggios, which are really nice. Okay, one other sound that I like uh, with this is the warm pad. It's way down in the synths, um, a little bit past saw wave. So warm pad sounds like this. Super nice. Okay, now moving on to drum mode. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold down the thumbstick and hit the function button one time. And we're going to go and select the top drum kit, which is it's right after applause, gunshot. It's called drum stand one, which I guess stands for standard. All right, and then for drums, the way this works is get your kick drum, your snare drum, and your cymbals. And so we're going to hold down just the kick drum, hold down just the bottom button over here, snare drum, and then cymbals. And the cymbals change. The cymbals change according to what angle. And then the back button the, behind the thumbstick is toms, and it's multiple toms. So you get. And one other sound I really like is the TR-808 sound. This is like that classic 80s drum machine. 